G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. It's Sunday, 24th of September, 2023. Um, I'm up at Nimboida. It's been almost a month since I've been here. I can't believe how quickly the month's gone. A lot's happened um, during the week. The national group that's managing this Ferrari response made a decision to, um, or made a decision that basically Barawa can no longer be eradicated in Australia. So. Um, we're transitioning to management, whatever that means. Um, yeah, so it's it's a bit of a blow um, that really, I think the writing's been on the wall for a month or so with um, the Kempsey cluster, the outbreak there. And we've had another um, mite detection just north of the Coffs Harbour red zone up at um, Burncandry <coughs> last week as well. So uh, the week before last, so. <coughs> And, uh, working on the response, like I can see how hard people are working, and but the just the um, the logistics of it has just got um, too much. We just haven't got the feet on the ground to to get around all these incursions, and 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 people um, there's just no appetite for for eradication anymore. Um, people are sick of losing their bees, um, and I understand that. Um, so. Yeah, I don't want to dwell on it too much. <clears throat> um, in terms of my situation, um, the Nana Glen red zone disappeared in a puff of smoke um, overnight. So I, I'm found myself no longer in a red zone. I'm very grateful for that. Um, I can now move equipment from home up to here without a permit and without wrapping it for 21 days or freezing it for three days. Just going to make life so much easier. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. I can also move um, supers down to my extracting shed and extract. So um, that'll make my business viable again. And I can just get on with it. Um, the, the challenge will be managing Varroa, which I'm up for it. Um, and we'll just have to see how things go. Uh, people often ask, when am I, when can I start beekeeping in Nana Glen again? The answer is I won't. Um, I, I cannot bring myself to go back down there. Um, it's just too hard. Uh, Board is a beautiful area. It's peaceful. Um, there's no berry farms up here. Uh, I'm reasonably isolated where I am and I'm hoping that um, Ferrara will take a little while to get to me up here. Um, I'm not naive enough to, to think that there's no other beekeepers up here. There are. And um, yeah, I just hopefully I'm a little bit isolated and, and I'll be careful about um, how I work things so I'm not, not transmitting mites around myself. Um, the other problem with the Nana Glen red zone is that the former red zone at Nana Glen is there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of unmanaged beehives in that area now. Um, they've been sold to blueberry farmers who aren't managing those hives. So that's really disappointing and it's an, another reason why well, I'll never ever ever go back there. Um, mites will be in the in the former Nana Glen red zone within a month, and they'll be right through that that former zone, which was um, the most heavily surveilled and the and the cleanest um, area in terms of mites in New South Wales. So that that's been lost. Very sad. I'd like to say more, but I'm sort of a little bit restricted with what I can say. But um, yeah, one day I'll I'll talk more about it. Um, so, on a brighter note, I'm up here, um, beautiful in uh, I The plan today is to get all my um, bees into 10 frame gear. I've brought uh, nine boxes of uh, frames of honey and stickies that were in freezers inside my honey shed. So I'm clearing them out and getting them up here on the bees where they belong. Um, I've got five boxes of foundation that will go into these um, six frame nukes that are going to go into 10 frame gear so I'll do a bit of spring management um, it's I've really neglected these hives just with the pressure of work and um, I feel really bad about it but but here I am and, and we'll see what the future holds so let's get into this if I find anything interesting I'll, I'll put it on video and um, yeah we'll get back to you um, when we're done so it hasn't taken too long to find a few problems um, identified this hive um, on the 
oh god 278 so nearly a month ago and it's um it got brewed in all the supers there was no queen excluded in it so there's brewed from the top to the bottom so i hadn't had a note here to split it but um i've just found a hive over there that was last time going really well and i even took a couple of frames of brood out of it for another for that drone layer and it's um completely broodless so um not sure if there's a queen um whether it's gone queenless and there's a, a, a queen in there in the process of mating again or if, if it's just queenless so i don't know what happened there anyway we'll try and we'll pick a bit out of here to try and fix that one over there so i haven't had a look in there yet but we'll just have a dig through it so that looks good so we're looking to find the queen in here be a bit of a challenge in a triple. Um, get a frame out of here. Nice if she was on the first frame. She's not going to be in there. Bit of brood there. Bees haven't done a lot since I was here last. Um, I was hoping there'd be a <coughs> bit of progress, but <coughs> um, some of the some of the um, frames of foundation I put in three weeks ago haven't been touched, so they're doing a bit of a struggle. But um, things will pick up. So there's fresh eggs and larvae in there. So I'm looking for a queen. fresh eggs and larvae so I'll be looking to borrow a few of them for that other hive um, just so I can set it up to um, get them to generate another queen It'd be really good if I could find this queen eggs and larvae in there it's starting to make a few queen cells there which is interesting What I might do, I shouldn't have damaged that. There's more queen cells there, so what I might do is drop, yeah, there's larvae in them. So I might just check this really well and um, drop that in that other hive. So you can see, you can see queen cells here, I've damaged one, but there's enough there to keep going. So you can just see them on that side as well. Check this really carefully for the queen. Just sit it down there for a second. A nice frame of brood there. We'll grab that as well. seal frame of brood hmm. so I'm just back over to this hive that, that I reckon is queenless um, yeah very low in V numbers uh, and I don't know what, what's happened to it but there's just no brood at all in it at all Few drone cells there, but it could have swarmed. I don't know. Um, there's hatch queen cells there, so it was a good hive. Um, but yeah, gee, I'm surprised if it swarmed. So there could be a um, there could be an unmated queen in here, but I really doubt it. There's more queen cells there. I I think it swarmed on me. That's my fault for neglecting them, I suppose. Um, yeah, 
extremely weak and I can't see anything in there that even resembles brew. Bees here, there's a some sort of a queen cell there, I don't know what they're trying to do. dead in there. See what's in this one. It's hatched. I reckon they've sworn and not reclaimed. So, um, gee. I don't think I can justify even throwing resources at this. few bees in there but crikey ah uh, what to do what to do I'm just going to shake these out. I don't, I don't think I can resurrect this hive. It's um, it's buggered. So whether it's swarmed and swarmed and swarmed, um, and just hasn't reclaimed, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to throw resources at this. So um, yeah, I'm going to shake it out. So back to this hive here with um, brood all through it. How lovely and quiet those bees are, just sitting on that frame. I've got a spare super here and I'm just going to start throwing brood into it. Um, let's collect as much as I can. And there's the queen there, you beauty. There she is. Excellent. That's just saved. <laughs> Sorting through um, three boxes of frames. So that's fantastic. I know where she is down there oh, what a stroke of luck so what I want to do is get her um, in the brood box and under a queen excluder what I also want to do is just knock these queen cells down I'll probably kick myself because I'm gonna need them at another hive but I'll just, I'll just get rid of them what's going on there so, I just want to get as much brood out of, as I can out of here and through that hive, get it in the single box and get them down the bottom under an excluder. Uh, what have you got there? Honey, honey, honey. Yeah, that was a real stroke of luck. Um, it's a strong hive. So, get this a bit organised. Frame of honey. More honey. People that don't use excluders, it's not for me. Um, if you want to take, um, you know, honey off efficiently, you really can't have your queen roaming through all the boxes. Um, I just like to be able to take a box of honey off the top and back to the shed to um, extract. So there's another nice frame of brood.
more brood. Uh, honey. It's all honey, so we'll take this off. There may or may not be any brood down here. Um, it's a good opportunity to, uh, there's a little bit. Let's have a look. Yep, that's good. Busy, she's roamed right through that hive. And um, I'll put that into what will now be the brood box. Just give her a bit of space to lay. I need to find another. Frame. Not too much. This one might be it. Oh. Yeah, there's a frame of pollen there, so that can go back in the brood box as well. So let's get this off the bottom board. Uh, down in that brood box where she belongs. I'll go and get the queen excluder, which should have been there in the first place. There's the queen excluder back on. So I'm putting this high back together. Yeah, you don't want your, um, so just starting to go back up and rebuild this hive. This is a nice strong hive, this one. It's, um, a cracker. Push them in nice and tight. Good, nothing's touching. Beautiful, strong beehive. So that's good, that's got it back um, the way it should be. So the queen in the bottom box, queen excluder on top. Um, they've got a bit of room to move in that brood box and um, honey in the two honey supers. So, so that's a good outcome. Um, that hive over there that I'm gonna shake out instead of using um, all the foundation I brought down, I'll bust this hive apart and use those three supers um, to um, make these nukes up into um, 10 frame singles and doubles. So I'll, that hive won't go to waste. The bees are of no, no use to me, but the, all the um, resources in there will go to, go to a good cause. So I've just come across this hive here. Um, 
would have been a double a month ago when I was here last and I've put a um, box of foundation on it um, to make it a triple so I've un under supered it and um, for some reason I didn't put a coin excluder on it I, I was pretty crook I was making real good decisions I don't think so what I want to do is give them space so um, I'm going to pull a bit of um, the order that I pull stuff out of the brood box is honey first um, pollen seal brood um, that's in that order it just gives the bees a bit more a bit more space so there's a nice big frame of seal brood there I can't see any queen cells coming up yet so um, caught them just in the nick of time I think um, and they were moving up into that super full of foundation so I'll whack a um, queen excluder in and hope she isn't up in that top so honey super but I'll find out um, pretty quickly where she is next week um, so nice frame of seal brood there be just nice if we can see this queen and confirm she's down here looking through these hives I think I've had a couple swarm on me which isn't, isn't surprising not a good time to be away from your bees so there's the queen there just walking around there she's got a, a pink dot on her so that makes life easy here I'll just sit her aside here so I know where she is um, pretty sure there's a frame of honey here so let's get that out yeah so that's quite heavy that's a frame of honey so we can go up into that honey super push that follow across there get a frame of that's partly drawn so that can go in there so we'll find a frame of seal brood yeah that's sealed so that can go up into the honey super as well up there get queen back in partly drawn comb there so that'll give them a bit of space and room for that queen to lay and expand that's, that's how we hold off swarming in spring it's called spring management or you know brood manipulation depends on what you want to call it so um, it's the sort of work I need to be doing on a weekly basis and it's just been hard being away all the time and um, yeah I had other Real fire service commitments as well, which kept me away from here, which is a real shame. But anyway, we'll, we'll pick them up again. So the queen's in there, the excluder's back on, giving her a bit of space, and we'll put this hive back together. So those two frames that came out of the brood box, frame of honey and a frame of seal brood, have um, just gone uh, into the next super with all that foundation and just right in the middle on, on top of that brood cluster. <laughs> the honey super back on. hive it's got um, it's a strong double and it's full of honey in the top and had trouble lifting that so let's have a quick look what's in here beautiful almost fully sealed um, so they've done really well we're going to be looking for a bit of honey in the next few weeks to take down to home to extract now that I can use my extracting shed again it's just just so grateful to have the use of that back um, it's made life a lot a lot easier for me and um, I should be able to pull a few boxes of honey out of this in a week or two and, and um, yeah get back to some sort of normality <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<coughs> so I've just opened up this single. Um, it's progressed from a nuke into a into 10 frame gear. Um, I would have, um, let's see what's going on. It did, all I'd say is it desperately needs a super. So it needs a queen excluder and a super. Let's go through it and see what it looks like. First frame out. Bit of honey and pollen. It's a lovely, cool, overcast day here. Not blazing hot, which it has been. So that's good. So, a bit of brood in the middle there. So the plan here will be to um, give them another super and just relieve any congestion in here, which is um, what's going on. You can see them building up into the lid. So we need to do something about this before they swarm on me. More sealed brood in there. frame of seal brood, really healthy. Still going. When they start hanging off that bottom bar like that, they, they really you need a space. So that's a nice frame of seal brood that can possibly come up into the super. That's a cracker. Almost corner to corner. So that's another possibility to, to come up out of that brew box. We'll see if there's a few frames of honey here we can move up. I expect there will be, yeah. So honey. So those last three are honey, so what we'll do is we'll um, tidy all this burr came up. We'll um, go and get another super. We'll get a queen excluder on, but we'll pull these three frames up, and we'll put three frames of foundation down into that into that brood box. So I'm stealing, um, just stole a super from that hive that I identified earlier that's broodless. So at the very least I want it back to a single to try and work out what's going on. So what I'm going to do is um, pull these three frames of honey out of this brood box and get some foundation in. Give that a good shake. No, no shake coming out of the frames. There's sort of no nectar flow here at the moment. Uh, pretty sure the queen isn't on there. Get that up in the honey super. Another shake. Another super. This last wall frame. I'll just leave that one there. Brood box back together again. So let's put two frames of brood there, frame of foundation, two more frames of brood, frame of foundation, two more brood. That was 
got loose again. Yeah, that frame's kind of um, near the end of its life. It's um, not very well drawn there, so we'll shake those bees off. Just see how that, that cone's deformed and not very well drawn there. Interesting enough, they're starting to dig into that honey there. Probably not much of a nectar flow here at the moment. We'll just put this last frame of foundation on the edge there. So what we've done there now is freed up space in that in that brew box. Put that Clinis booter back on or on. It wasn't there in the first place. We'll put the honey super on. Good. That's got it from a from a single up to a double and, and some brood brood manipulation or spring management done in that brood box to, to prevent them from swarming. process here of getting these um, nukes, some that are um, doubles, into 10 frame gear. So, not sure what I did with this last time. Let's have a look what's happening here. Foundation. This must have been going well. Uh, can't remember what I did with this fella. Let's get this off and have a look. This might go straight into a double, um, double 10 frame. Let's have a look what's happening here. Basically, 12 frames of bees here, so I might get it into a double, um, double 10 frame. Let's have a look what's happening in terms of brood. honey so what I'll do is start putting that into a 10 frame box shouldn't be on there but we'll, we've got a locator at least or at least try it there's some brood here now that's lovely yeah really nice healthy brood so I just want to try and locate this queen so we can Ideally, we get a queen excluder in between these two boxes. If I can't find her, I'll just make it up as a double and um, deal with it next time. Nice, healthy brood there, nearly corner to corner, so we're doing really well. she is let's um get these onto a bottom board let's see if there's any honey here first so we get all the brood in the brood box that's brood and that's 
mostly honey and pollen, so we'll pull it up in the top. Right, so let's pull this back. So we've got to put our new bottom board on the ground. Up there. New 10 frame bottom board. Entrance closer are in here. It's not going to sit real well. Is that there? Super. That's good. Let's got our brood box set up. Okay, transfer our queen over. Just carefully put them in there. Must have made this into a double nuke a few months ago and forgot about them. They're definitely strong enough to go into a double double ten frame, which is a good problem to have. top box as well so get as much brew down the bottom as we can. Some frame of foundation can go in there. That's honey. It's got a wonky frame. So I'll that in my brew box. It's all honey. Can go up top. They're all honey, so we'll put um, a couple of frames of honey on the wall. There's a bit of brood there. So can go in there. Money there. Money in there. So that'll give me a bit of space. Room for the coin to lay. Shake those bees in. Oh, you'd see I've written 923 on these frames just to date them a bit. Um, keep track of the 
happy when they're gone in. So there's that clean excluded on, clean down below. Get your honey super on top. It's fitted well, so I'm gonna make the rest of this up with um, frames that I bought out of the freezer from home, so. Frame's a bit crooked. So that frame's a bit crooked, so I'll um, put a frame of foundation in there to take up the slack. This is stuff that I brought from home. Not Probably not great for brood, but um, they'll be good honey frames. Three of these ones out of the freezer, so that's a bit not much good. That far, we'll get rid of that one there, and there, and there's the last one. So that's good. We've got them um, given a bit more space, We've got them under a clean excluder, and they're going to get up into that top super pretty quickly and, and get going when we get some nectar coming in. So, struggled through and got everything out of um, six frame nukes, bar one that's still a little bit weak, it, it can stay there. I'll put a couple of frames of foundation in it. So, so everything's in 10 frame gear. I just thought um, I'd go through and get a few of these that we put into 10 frame stuff um, almost a month ago. Just see how they're, how they're looking. So yeah, it's just an indication of the season up here. Finding, <coughs> oh geez, finding that um, yeah, not not a lot of nectar for them. So there's definitely nothing in no shake in the frames. So um, they are drawing comb, but not at a great rate. So this would have been a, a six frame nuke. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and <coughs> oh, crikey. They just started to draw a little bit of wax on that fella. So that's got brood, but they're not breaking any records. So hopefully it'd be nice if we just get a little bit of rain, I think. It's just been so dry. Um, yeah, really end of the winters. I mean, this is their normal dry period, but oh, crikey, it's, it's pretty desperate. Um, so yeah, maybe an inch of rain will, will pick things up a little bit for them, but yeah. So that's, they're not breaking any records. Back 
Ja. Into a, <coughs> into a can primer. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry, COVID, COVID cough. So they, they're looking better. Um, little bees in there. What's going on there? a bit of fresh comb on that side once again not setting the world on fire a little bit of brood there that's what it looks like yeah, not a great brood pattern so there there's got a little bit of pollen on their legs it's definitely no no great nectar flow coming in. There's just no shake in them at all. So, um, yeah. Let's hope the season improves a little bit in the next in the next few weeks. That's been a pretty good day. Um, I've got everything bar one nuke out into uh, 10 frame singles and some of them went into 10 frame doubles. I've used those frames I pulled out of the freezer at home to, to top them up. So a lot of the foundation that I brought up is, is in my pile of junk over there, um, ready for next time. So um, <coughs> clearly lost a few hives of swarming. Um, it's unfortunate, but uh, it's completely my fault. I just haven't been here to, to deal with them. So. Um, <coughs> hope that we can pick up something pick up the pieces out of them um, yeah so things are looking good um, haven't counted these um, probably about 40 hives here want to get up to 50 on this site and, and find another site in the embroider so um, that's looking good uh, just so yeah just don't forget that we've um, gone to management with Farala. Um rules are changing just a little bit I've read in the new order there's the washing requirements are changing in terms of how many you have to do and um, still every 16 weeks but the numbers have changed and they also require you to um, keep photographic evidence of, of the washes so it means um, downloading an app um, I use context cam on my phone but um, it, it puts a time and date and a, and a position a GPS position on the photograph so um, I take those washing requirements pretty pretty seriously um, because um, if you don't don't do your 16 week wash and, and provide evidence um, then you may um, find yourself with a penalty notice so um, think hard about about doing that um, I'll put a note in I'll put a link in the notes below to um, the latest um, for our information in New South Wales so yeah just just remember that where, where you are may have changed the requirements may, may have changed so We've now got two zones, the management zone and the suppression zone. So the suppression zone is really is the blue zone and um, all those little outliers, those um, red and purple zones that were outliers, um, like Narrabri, um, the ones down on the um, Armands, Nana Glen, Boomkandri are all gone. They're in the blue zone, um, sorry, in the suppression zone. So um, yeah, just um, keep that in mind that, that the rules have changed. And, you need to know what the rules are if you're a beekeeper. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully, there's a few little interesting things in there for you to take away. And um, yeah, with a bit of luck with things settling down. Um, I should be up here a little bit more often to do some more videos. So, um, thanks for watching.